<laughs> All right, looks like our timer is good to go. So let's go ahead and break down these squads. Uh, Blair Bunky is out of Seattle. He's running uh, pretty, pretty much classic Blair. He loves his C95s. Let's go ahead and swap sides because I noticed that the lists are on the wrong side. Easy. Beauty. Done. Beauty. Um, and and uh, he's classic Blair. He loves his Z95s. Yeah. He wants to make sure that he just has his swarm. He likes rebels. And just being able to fit crack shot on these guys, uh, they're going to get in there in your face. Make sure that you can set up that bullseye and uh, start doing some damage. Now, generally, if you're at range one, it, there's a good chance you're in the crack shot. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> the judges are being really loud. <laughs> All right, folks, and then uh, Joe Killingsworth. You know where he's from? Yeah, Joel Killingsworth is um, from is, is from Alabama. That's the state. I know that's not the exact area. Uh, he's one of the Birmingham Barons. Okay, great. Um, he was the winner of the San Antonio System Open. There that was go. the first System Open that uh, that we streamed here, Gold Squadron, and uh, he won both his. Um, he won both his. What's the word? I'm looking Invites. For? Yeah, he won both of the invites. He, he went uh, basically undefeated. He did the hyperspace qualifier and the main event, won it all. And, uh, well, once you got that invite, you need the plane, the plane ride. Correct. Right. Yeah, so he, he, said, he said, why not both? Yeah, porque no los dos. Okay. <laughs> now, he's got a great list here. The Jakku Gunrunner to get in there and mess things up, and he can deploy that right in your face. He can, he can pop him in and disrupt Blair's swarm right away. And uh, L337, value, value, value. Right, one of the best ships in the game, probably. With Tactical Officer, she's the price of a an Academy TIE Fighter. And you have a white coordinate. And you have the hull value of a Z95. It's insane. Right? Yep. Guri's great. I want to see how this build rocks out. Debris Grambit and Advanced Sensors is kind of interesting. You're not going to be able to use her linked actions with the Advanced Sensors. And then uh, we got a nudie Fen Rao. Nothing on him. We don't need anything. Fen Rao's just great as is. Now, uh, we were saying he's digging into an eight-point bid here. Okay, because uh, it's going to be 196, but uh, we're going to have minus four for Boba's fat, Boba Fett. Yeah. And we're having stream coming in and out. We're going down to zero in the 700s. So let us know if uh, anything cuts out. I know that um, we are going to be recording locally. Everything will be uploaded to YouTube afterwards. Yeah. And We um, are on Wi-Fi, so please do bear with us as we encounter te technical difficulties throughout the day. Yep. So, uh, we're getting going here. Um, let's talk about this rock setup. So, uh, things are actually pretty wide set, and this is good for Blair. He has lots of... I, just want, I, I can do the, the sportscaster thing on yeah. your screen, right? Yep. Oh, I'm very excited, Dion. So, we can see here, Blair has set up a great rock placement for his swarm, right? He's yep. got lots of big lanes that he can come through yep. right here and here right and then his exits here are many right so he can slow roll in right yep and and joel is as as uh, how do i un how do i delete them right there. oh man i uh, that's Trash that's down. that's real tiny i got big fingers there dion <laughs> right whereas Joel is going to be very limited through these tiny spaces to how he's going to be able to engage with the swarm. Yep. Right. So Blair's going to be able to come in, put his ships where he wants, right? And Joel's going to have, a, you know, mm -hmm. tighter options about where he has to maneuver, right? And where he's going to bring, now that we've got Fen Rao, how he's going to bring Fen Rao into the match. Correct. Right? Yeah. So, um... So looking at where he's going to set up that quad jumper, and, and it's interesting, when you're playing against ships with a uh, lower ship comp and you have a quad jumper, that quad jumper can do tons of work for you, right? Just being I'm, able to really take advantage of... I'm wondering if he's going to be down here. No. There's the Boba Fett. There's getting, the Boba Fett. Getting, uh, getting deployed there That's at range nope. zero. That's a I don't really want to engage. No. Because I mean, there's no reason to take... Um, forget that I could do this too. Yeah. Uh, there's no this reason. This is super fun. I love this. <laughs> there's no reason to be on an island somewhere over here because this is You're that just would just be die. like, all right, I'll just take some points, thank you. Yeah. I'll just take some points, thank you. Yeah. So. I was thinking maybe you'd be coy. You come in here. You can disrupt the whole swarm. 
right? But but, the, but you know, I've seen Bla I've seen Blair play so much where that wouldn't throw him off. He, no, he would not care. Well, as soon as you as soon as you put Boba Fett down here, he'd know exactly what you were up to. Yep. Plan around it, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna push anything off the board. First, maybe something up here where he could go in, right, and uh, disrupt the the U wing. Maybe try and bump it. You know, uh, get it around. But uh, I don't think that that's going to be. That's not something he's going for. Thank you, Dion. These these buttons are real tiny with my big fat, yeah, big fat fingers. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, looks like we got our first set of dials set for Joel. Yeah, I am gonna have to get some markers out for these Z95s because there's a ton of them. There are a ton. So give me give me a moment to get that done, and uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I see that we are having some internet issues still. I do have a, a secondary plan if our local uh, Wi-Fi that is here doesn't work. Um, Dion's always got a plan B. Always have a plan B. Um, even if it uh, involves making things a little uncomfortable, but for you guys, I'd do it. So um, if it continues to be a huge issue, let me know. And uh, we can swap out the internet here in a minute. All right. Okay, dokey. Things are moving. We are into the game. And uh, before I forget, Ooh. let me go ahead and get this. Sorry for that, folks. Into our uh, our overlay. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> too, too much. Too much. Too much. All righty. Yeah. See. Very basic move here from the quad jumper, just setting things up. And uh, it's going to be a, a round or two probably before we see some action here on stream. And uh, Blair Bunky going for it there with the uh, the blue squadron. I mean, you know, with this Leia crew, um, let's repeat the rules, okay? Right. So squad building rules was that each um, faction has a piece that they have to have in their list. Yes. Rebels is Leia, Scum is Boba. Um, Imperials is ruthless, and they get one copy of that for free in their list. So if you look at some of the points totals on each of the ships, they're actually not quite correct. And because Leia is an uncommon crew, I'm gonna, just going to go through what she does. She's eight points, and uh, she has two charges, I believe. So Leia, three charges. At the start of the activation phase, you may spend three charges on this card. During that activation phase, each friendly ship reduces the difficulty of its red maneuvers. So your red maneuvers become white for one turn, and then three turns later, you can do it again. So that'll be very interesting to see how Blair uses that, probably to reposition his swarm. That sounds like a, uh, a very basic way of using Leia, but I'm sure that he will find more interesting ways to use it that uh, scrubs like uh, I mean, you and I can't think of. Just being able to get free K turns is huge. Sure. I mean absolutely being able to or or go through um, a debris, there are there's only one in this list, but mm -hmm. it's just huge. Now we've got L three three seven, so Joel's paying 25, 24 points for push the limit on Fenrau. And he's deployed them together and it's gonna be very interesting to see how he uses that. Because he can also um, barrel roll the quad jumper and, and move his other ships around with uh, with coordinate. And there we go. He's gonna do exactly that. All right, we're going to lose the keyboard so that we can get internet here through my phone. I think that's going to be the best call. Sounds good, Dion. Okay, just give me a minute. Sorry, guys. I know I'm quiet. I'm just trying to uh, trying to solve this for y'all so that we can uh, get a better connection. Just give me a minute. Round one's a bumpy one, folks. Round one's a bumpy one. All right, but this is a pretty standard position, I think, for Blair. Um, and uh, he's going to try and, I think, isolate Gurry from the rest. Um, it's interesting to see that he is, well, that's just how the, they deploy. I mean, Joel would have, I'm surprised he put Guri out on that wing, I guess would be the way I put it. Um, way away from the other folks. She can turn, she can get in there, she can uh, get away, perhaps. The uh, this loopy barrel roll is uh, a wily beast, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. Where we go, how things go. Advanced sensors to evade uh, with the Breed Gambit. And then a green move to complete it. 
and then he cannot do another action. All right, guys, we're probably going to cut out here for a minute. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we'll be right back. It should automatically connect. We can, we can keep commentating because the, uh, the recording will go. So go keep, keep on keeping on, Devin. A boost from Fenn. And uh, we're going to see him pushing down into the uh, bottom right there of the board. Trying to flank the swarm, get in behind them. Interesting to, uh, to see L337 repositioning the quad jumper. Not doing the double reposition on Fenn. That uh, leads me to think he might be going really quick next turn. Hmm. Hmm. I'm real worried about uh, Guri there, uh, Dion. Oh, she's in a she's in a bad spot. Well, you know what though? With that Sloopy Barrel Advanced Sensors, you can scoop out and go forward. What's the fastest that a Starbacker can go for? Is it four or five? Ooh, let's check. Four, I, a four, you're you're fine. Uh, a five, you're fine. <coughs> uh, four, so you might be a little bit short. He could advance sensors barrel roll this way, do a four forward that way, and uh, somewhere down here. And Blair's arcs will probably end up somewhere here, and he's got to deal with that. Uh, sorry, I'm stealing your uh, your mouse on you. It's All right. He's got to deal with that uh, Jakku Gunrunner, which is hiding behind the rocks. A Jakku uh, Gunrunner rolling uh, three of eight dice is uh, problematic, even with Crackshot. And Crackshot, much more limited in its usability than um, in 1.0. 2.0 Crackshot, for those who don't know, is Bullseye Arc only. All right, only. all right, everybody. Um, I just switched our internet connection. Um, looks like we're getting a much more stable signal according to our settings here. Should be mm. much more stable for you guys. We got that beautiful green square, very hey, calm. I like, I like both colors, but uh, if red means bad, then it's red, not have red that. is bad. All righty, guys. So I'm going to be more engaged yet uh, now. Yet, wow, tired. So I want to go ahead and talk about um, Joel choosing to bring. The escape craft, not docked, just a separate ship, uh, L337, um, with, it's, it's with the, the tactical best, officer. It's one of the best ships in the game, Dion. It's the price of, I, I, was, I was saying this at the beginning, it's the price of a TIE fighter. Right. You get the hull of a, a Z95, mm -hmm. and you get a white coordinate with the tactical officer. That's so great. It's value. Oh, yeah. It's great value. In L337, when she gets hurt, she can book it. She gets those green three banks, and off she goes. Yep. Run, 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 run. Now, before we get too far, uh, I do want to say that our stream this whole weekend is sponsored by Curled Paw Creatives. There, if you go in that corner right there, you can see we got our exclusive coupon code for the weekend is Coruscant18 to get 15% off of all X-Wing products. So make sure to use that coupon code. Thank you to Curled Paw Creatives for, uh, for sponsoring us through this entire system open season and uh, here at the culmination of our, uh, our event. All right. So now one thing that, w that I do want to make sure that we, we do notice, so that blue squadron uh, in Blair's list does not cost 51 points, okay? Mm -hmm. So it says 51 right here. It's actually 51 minus 8, uh, which would be, what is that, 43? 43. Yeah. Okay. So that's actually 43 points. That's important to, uh, to note there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, look, I'm just, I'm just having fun. You're with just toys, having a good Dion. time. Like, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> playing with my toys. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, you, you invited me in. You're like, yeah, come, come over and play with my stuff. Now, do you think advanced sensors, barrel roll, zoom? I mean, you, you, you need to converge here. You need to come in because uh, you don't want Guri to be by herself. Then that's. Well, I'm wondering if he, if he, if he moves and then like barrel rolls a quad jumper, right, and then brings in L337. And then coordinates, right, mm -hmm. to the quad jumper. Like, so the, co the quad jumper has to move first. Right. Then Blair's squad moves. Mm -hmm. To coordinate right. the tractor beam. And then L337 tractor beam. So now he here's here's a debate. Oh, we got to talk quietly because it's starting to get quiet in here. Ooh. So here, here's a debate, though. All at once. Like, all it was it, all, it, at, all once. at once. Just all at once got super quiet. Yeah. Um, Ten minutes in the first engagement was happening across the board. Yes, exactly. Um... What is the value of a single tractor beam versus a seven-ship list? And that's something that, that
that Joel is going or to have to. Or a five die primary. Or a five die primary. You know, um, Joel is going to have to use the tools. He's going to have to try to pick off the swarm. Blair doesn't have to stay in formation. He doesn't have any type of uh, effects besides Leia. I think, but I think Leia is zero to three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we can we can double check no, that here. Is not I do not three, believe. Or is it anywhere on the board? Leia does not have a range. Okay, so it's unlimited. So literally, there's no reason to stay in formation. You just kind of start there. You create this wall. You try to funnel things into the spot you want. I, I watched him do it. Uh, I think it was like three or four games in a row in Seattle. He just barely lost the final over there. Mm. Uh, just really good. And now uh, that's that's an interesting move with the blue squadron. He's banking on Joel running, going downboard. Yeah, right, going that way, which we've been talking about. Yeah. But if instead of doing that, if he has the space to do that. Yeah, I don't think the space is there. Um, yeah, but but that, that, that bendy way up there where we get the, yeah. the parallax on the board. Yeah. And you never, never, I never quite rule anything out <laughs> up at the top of the board. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. All right, so uh, Blair starting to flip those dials. Uh, let me get our oh, ship. Oh, there we go. He's And he's banking on. Uh, just in case. Just in case. He's keeping some of those guys straight, keeping those arcs. Way out there, anywhere it would have been. Yep. Give me one second. Yeah. I, I need the mouse back. You need the mouse? <laughs> We're fighting over the mouse. Mine, <laughs> mine, no mine, but I have to draw. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I'm going to get you Very guys. interesting. Ooh, is that a target lock that's extremely close? Looks uh, like I think yes. that's in. Those pretty, pretty, pretty vassal templates. All right. We had a few of our guys decide not to bring their Boba Fett templates because the vast majority of people here have Boba Fett templates. Yep. And we're like, well, why? I'm not showing off. Everyone here has them. Yeah. <laughs> They're not this rare. They're this not isn't rare here. special. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> what a fantastic turnout. I know it's unfortunate that more players couldn't make it, but uh, wow. Oh, did we find wow. out? We need to find out wow. how many players we actually ended up with. We gotta, oh, that's we true. Take that's a look true. at that. One, two, three. Well, we've got a bunch of target locks there on Guri. And they're just going for it. He's trying to trap Guri. And, I mean, that's what he needs to do. I mean, it makes sense. If you look at Joel's list, it's his most expensive piece. 72 yeah. points right there. You take that off the board, it's the most problematic in the Her end game with the ability to uh, arc dodge. You have the advanced sensors. And Guri uh, being the highest initiative compared on this table, uh, if you give her free reign, that's, that's going to be game for Blair. And that's why I was concerned about why when Joel put her way off here by himself. I've, I've stole your mouse again. I'm yep. sorry. <laughs> uh, Bargain. <laughs> I was trying to circle Guri. We put, her, put her off up in that corner. And uh, Blair Bunky's doing uh, what we call here in Canada, uh, working the boards, working the corner. Yep. And uh, that's what you really need to do versus an ace, right? You need to get him in a corner and you need to, you know, get an elbow into their kidneys right mm -hmm. and so that's what we're working on here with those crack shots with um with the amount of arcs he's got pointed over there it's good guri's gonna get shot at something's gonna happen she's gonna get hit um uh, with crack shots he's got enough arcs and enough uh bullseye arcs there that uh something uh something might uh land something might get through and certainly, uh, there we go. There's the coordinate from L337 onto the quad jumper. Um, not quite what we, what I expected, but that makes sense. The, there's no way the Zs were moving that fast. And uh, he's setting it up for uh, for next turn to do a little uh, tugboat action onto one of the rocks sitting Doo -doo. around there. He's going to be able to put um, either of these front Zs in a position where they're rock bound. So. Here we have the advanced sensors barrel roll. Get out. You got to get out. And as far forward as possible, the back of the base lined up at the front of the template, and boom, four forward. Yeah. So that's exactly what I was thinking there. Just there's yeah. no reason to engage yet. Um, now, note about these numbers. They might change which ship is which. Depending, I'm going to watch his uh, <laughs> his board. Okay, we're going to try to watch his board. Do the best we can to keep track of them. Uh, there's a lot of ships out there, guys. There's a lot of ships out there, folks, and uh, we're, we've seen more than a few swarms out there. So, mm -hmm. so here's Fen Rao coming in. Hard three using those uh, Birmingham Barons. Uh, templates, th which are also on uh, Curled Paul Creative Store, because as Andrew is the um, curator of that store. 
I would imagine that we are going to see uh, boost linked action here, mm -hmm. but perhaps not. He's holding it. He's thinking about it. Oh, once you put it on the table, a piece laid is a piece played. <laughs> no, that's tight. I like, tight. I like that. Uh, that saying. Uh, he's he's got it. He's got tight. plenty of room yeah. for any bank tight, maneuver tight, tight. that he wants. Yeah. Um, Great positioning for next turn. He's in no arcs. He doesn't have to take a token if he doesn't want to. Leaves him more options. Although he's got some pretty good greens. There's the linked action for focus. Yeah, so essentially, he's locked himself into a two bank next turn. Sure, but he that, a two bank's fine. Right. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's that's what's gonna come. Yeah. Um, and I think he's gonna put all of his. Like he's got three arcs. Uh, One second. It's uh, gotta just reopen it. Oh, that's all right. And uh, I was gonna say this chat here is not. Uh, it's not updating. It's not updating. Right, I'll take a look. Well, we've got. Go ahead. Uh, an arc here. We've got an arc here, and uh, I think number two is then going to be barrel rolled and have to go this way over a rock. So. That, that that Z might be uh, here's our might first have shot. So that looks like uh, hit hit focus. Thank you, Joel. That always oh, happens on the first roll of the game. Yeah. Spend and focus. That's Fen Rao into number two. Takes two. Takes There's two. The shields. Okay. So we call that blue two, right? We call that blue two. All right. So shields are down. Um, blue two. Uh, one note for the uh, the broadcast today, with all the charges and things, um, we're gonna do our best to keep keep track of those. Just a little bit. Uh, it's, it's just another extra thing to keep charge of. We're gonna have to hire a third person so just Dion, to do stats. When we soon. get um, a bomber swarm on yep. with five barrage rockets and four or five bombs. Yeah. Uh, so how here's we, number two on the quad jumper. How are we gonna track? And 40 charge tokens. Oh, you gotta spend, spend it. it. You gotta spend it. Spend Stay it, alive. No damage. Yeah. Negate it. Away we go. And uh, Blair no, checking no range. Shots, no shots. And uh, that'll put us back at dials. Uh, L33 is where gonna nope. check range. Quad jumper's got a shot, buddy. Oh, quad. The quaddy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. my yeah. bad. My bad. It's gonna be unmodded range two at a Tala with a focus. <laughs> um, but that's not why the quad jumper's there. Yep. You just take the shot because you got it, and who knows, you might roll natties. Did not happen. Natty blanks. Might as well have forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I imagine we're going to see a lot of hard twoing from Blair Bunky next turn. Maybe a three bank uh, four forward out of the uh, oof, that blue squadron. Ooh, boy. All right, guys. So, um... Let's go ahead and uh, talk about some predictions for this game. I, I got to get our Twitch poll up there. Now that our Ooh, internet's a, li a little more stable, I think I feel comfortable opening this up. I am excited to participate in a Twitch poll. Okay. This is fun. Whoops. So I'll get that up here in a second. I know that we've already seen the first engagement, and it's a little bit difficult oh, 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 to... Right. Uh, yes. I keep, they're, they're you're too computers. excited. Stop playing with my toys. They're it's different <laughs> computers. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All, righty. All right. So who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? We're going to go ahead and get that on the screen in three, two, one. There Beauty. it is. So uh, if you're on Twitch, unfortunately, this does not work across YouTube uh, yet. Uh, yet. Yeah. So who knows? Um, so go ahead and chap, uh, type one in the chat if you think uh, Blair's going to have the advantage, and two if you think it's Joel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we can see the percentages right there. Yeah. Now that's being broadcast on Twitch too, right? Yep. They, they get to see that? Yeah. All right, everybody, folks. everybody sees it. So, I mean, these boys back here, I know that I can draw again. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, this guy's going to come in. This guy's going to come in. We're going to see... Some real nice swarm play, but this guy's probably toast. Yeah, he's going to die. Uh, that Z95's job is going to be to be in the way this turn. I just I don't know how he's going to block Fenrau. You can't. So Fenrau is going to be able to get into range one of whomever he wants, and these guys are going to be here, pointed at a rock, but hopefully he'll be able to crack shot, but he's got a reposition here that, and uh, an L337 reposition in L337. Right, is moving after the Talas. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be able to see where all the Talas are. So he could even... Coordinate. Well, no, he can't. He's got stress, right? Well, um, fan, yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, yeah. there's no coordinate there. Yeah. So this is kind of what I'm, I, I could see um, coming out here. So I actually like the... The, the K-turn? The K-turn here. Oh. I like the K-turn. Oh. Let me go ahead and do that again. So I like the K-turn here. Yeah. You do turn. You bring in here. Yeah. Now, with uh, Fen's ability, it only works with, you know, things that's actually shooting him at range one. Mm -hmm. So if you can uh, get a couple guns on him, he only has one focus. In first edition, anything can take damage. So Except Fen route range one. Well, uh, I, I, I even sometimes not that. So uh, if... If um, Joel elects to, for instance, spend his focus on his attack, um, that could leave Fenrau open to open, open to damage. And not only that, it would it would give Joel uh, some decision making. Do I spend my focus when that happens? Right. Or uh, or do I not? So. And um, and the the Talus do have the three turns, so so number three back here can get some distance. Yeah. Um, or as well, he could just fly forward. Yeah. Or put screen. Just, just, on the, four, the Fang four. four. You four forward boost out of there and just come back around later. Actually, no, I, might, I actually think it might be three. I think it's one, two, three. Oh. Yeah. One would hope that there's some sort of limitation on those, those, those <laughs> ships. <laughs> we can, Can't, uh, not every your... ship should or can be able to do everything. Just Except for L337, my yeah. girl. It's three straight. Great. Three straight. So yeah. that's less good. Um, so it looks like right now Blair is leading the poll at 56%. I expected it to be a little more, a little higher for Blair. We got, uh, we got some Killingsworth fans in the uh, in the crowd. That's right. So uh, during the see, next set, of, go ahead and get your votes in now, guys. I will close it down uh, the poll once we start seeing these dials. Then it makes it too easy, right? Mm-hmm. 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 So um, thank you everybody for joining us today. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to our Twitch Prime subscribers. Don't forget to hit that button every 30 days. Uh, that's how I was able to pay for all the equipment, the travel here, and all the events that we do. All the toys I'm playing with. All the toys that, <laughs> that I was playing with. Like, ooh. <laughs> I, I've been trying to draw on the VTTV stream. I've been telling those guys to do this. Yep. And I'm just, I'm just stoked I get to try it. Yeah. Now, look, 50-50. Oh, okay, we're oh. getting close there. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, a huge thank you to our patrons. You guys are the driving force behind all the things we do here at Gold Squadron Podcast. And we have an exciting thing coming up. Um, as of this morning, we were three patrons away from meeting our next goal of 400 patrons in order Ooh. to go and uh, take the stream overseas somewhere. Oh, fun. Yeah. Now, you said Canada doesn't count as overseas. Sorry. No, yeah. You, you guys are... Well, that means you just got to come to the next, uh, next yeah, Nationals the, anyway. Yeah, that's practically... That, I'll be going to Canada, but it doesn't count for that. I, I <laughs> think right. we would be so mad. It'll be it'll be fair to the rest of the world, right? If 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 we don't count, right? Exactly. Okay. Correct. I, look, listen, our I, brothers to the north. I want to I want to see Gold Squadron in England. I want to see Gold Squadron in in Czechoslovakia. I want to see Gold Squadron in Poland. We got a lot of poles here. They're very yeah. good players. Oh yeah. I may not be the greatest app builders in the world, but they're great <laughs> players. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> Shade. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I have had since I announced it the first time on the podcast, I had a few countries slide into my DMs. Okay. Right? All and right. they were they were All like right. they're like, Hey, this is what we can offer you in this country. What do you think? So um, we'll take all those things into consideration. And honestly, um, when it comes to, you know, I'm a big uh, penny pincher. Yep. And the more pennies I can pinch, if I can go to multiple countries, hey. I, I'll make that happen. So well, look, uh, if the we'll offers see. are good enough, the That's accommodation's right. cheap enough, the Yep. The flights stingy enough. Yep, exactly. <laughs> like, can I ride with the baggage? Yeah. I'll just I'll just carry carry my bags. <laughs> like technically, yes, you can uh, like book berths on like uh, cargo ships. <laughs> oh god. It take you it'll take you a week. <laughs> but I'll but get, it might only I'll cost you like 200 bucks to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Australia, here I come. <laughs> that, that's a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sorry, Australians. You were very far away. Yes. <laughs> the opposite, uh, opposite side. side of, opposite and, side. Of the and diagonal. And down. Right. right? And uh, there's like a reversal involved of like mm -hmm. seasons and directions. <laughs> I'm not really involved. <laughs> sure how that works. All righty. So uh, we're waiting for our last set of dials. Blair does have a lot of thinking to do. He doesn't have any. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm sorry. This is an we're, extremely we're in, important round for, and here, for here's, Blair. Here's the thing. Um, Blair does have one tool in his arsenal now that he didn't have before when he played Z95s, and that Crack is that. Besides that, no, um, he's got barrel roll on these Z95s. That's true. It's they a, have a better a, dial. It, They've got barrel roll. Yeah, it's a red red barrel roll. The Talos so. have crack shots. Mm -hmm. the, the Talos didn't have EPTs in, in no in no they 1. didn't. 0. They didn't. I mean, the crack shot is good, but the 
if you can be in the right spot, like that's just fantastic. it can force Fen to barrel roll or boost in a range one situation. Yeah. All right, know. so it looks like uh, we have all those dials set. Here comes the Quadi. Probably just going to go in and try to disrupt some things. Beep, beep, I'm a truck. Here it comes. <laughs> As our friend Ryan Farmer says, doot, doot, right? I sure. can see his beautiful, beautiful back of his head right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Navy suit. All right, so he does. Uh, looks like he's reaching for some tokens. Double tractor, even though the double doesn't actually matter in this situation. Here it comes. Down onto a... So this will be interesting. I don't think he'll be able to put Blue 2 on a rock, but certainly it appears it will be going over the rock this round. Yes. So yeah. Go ahead and slide that down. Now, not with the second edition barrel roll, roll rules. And if you're newer, um, when it comes to you know all of the second edition rules, you've got to remember that barrel rolls need to be placed in the center mm -hmm. line uh, for the beginning, and then you have three locations in which you can choose from. Front, front, back, back. Yep. Middle, middle. Yep. Very interesting. All right, so we're going to do blue two first. Here's the K-turn, I think you were calling. Yep. There it is. Oh, no, oh, maybe no. just a three forward. He's 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 going after Gurry. He's going to work her into the boards. I mean, he's got the target lock set up on that one, I believe, already. Is that a bump? Un bimp? Nope. Nope. Oh, nice and clear. Nice. And very nice. Very nice. Now, if... Uh, now, rolling if, for damage. No damage. If Joel would have put him all the way back, mm, he would have gotten the block there. Yeah. So, would have landed on the rock. And you know what? This is one of those situations where, especially with the increased amount of dice, um, or excuse me, lack of def dice modifications, um, yeah. you could end up... There's the three bank hurt. coming in, focusing, not going to use that swanky new barrel roll. Uh, let's see if one is going after Guri or... Ooh, ooh, interesting. The three hard, bringing him in, bumping into the quad jumper. So it looks like he was, you know... Interesting. Was Blair, he thinking to set up a barrel roll there in, maybe? No. Uh, honestly, Blair, I'm sure, knew that this was probably going to be, be likely. The quad jumper was going to get in the way somehow. Um, he may have been leveraging for possibly the quad jumper being more like past him by going fast. Mm -hmm. There's the four forward out of the uh, the blue squadron keeping up with uh, the Tala boys and uh, coming in. It'd be I. I understand the purpose of the blue squadron to scout just to hold Leia. Yep. The cheapest way to hold Leia. It's chunky. Throws big dice. Uh, but I'd like to see it do one other thing. You know what I mean? One other. I mean, it, I mean, it can be a blocker. Right, it could be a blocker. Um, yeah. It still, it still has three attack dice. You can't understate that attack dice are good. Mm -hmm. We know that. I mean, as a as a support ship, mm -hmm. you know, Leia is so situational that it's like you want to want more one more buff out there, sort of thing. There we go. Here come the the Talas lined up, and so you can see how Blair has spread out his bullseye arcs. Yep. To cover this whole box. Come on, Finn. Right. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get Here's a kill box. Come sit in it like a cat. <laughs> Meow. Alrighty, Blair so Bucky's built this little kill box. Yep. And, uh, L L33 um, moves. Banks in. Joel thinking about the coordinate options. We know that Fen Rao can't be coordinated because he's currently stressed. Mm -hmm. Can't do any actions. Um, the quad jumper could be focused. That's really the only thing that the quad jumper could do right now. Um, he might be able to uh, barrel roll and place it here. He might be. But I don't think that gets him out of any arcs, and it may get him into the into arcs. So mm -hmm. I think the that's the best idea. I, don't I listen to me. I don't know. I, didn't I think win. he's looking at it. Now, here's the thing. With, 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 the, <laughs> with the coordinate rules, he would choose coordinate, and he's, you know, once if he failed the barrel roll, then it's done. It's done. it's done. And he's just going to calculate. It's the best. I think it's the best That's choice. Fair. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, again, uh, calculate tokens work similar to focus, except they only modify a single result. So um, important difference there. One calculate equals one focus to a hit or an evade. 
Now, there's some discussion in chat about the dials for swarms and how long Blair took for this turn in particular. Okay. And one thing people have... I've flown a lot of swarms, Dan. Mm -hmm. I've flown a lot of TIE swarms. So what people have to understand is that your dial time is going to vary immensely. Yep. Early he game, late game, you're going to be very quick with your dials. Moves are going to be very obvious. You're going to be able to set things up very quickly. There's going to be two or three rounds in the game where you're just going to have to crunch the numbers and it's going to take a chunk. Mm -hmm. But, so you know, right off, the, right off the hop, it's going to be real quick, going to be real easy, and especially it gets easier as you lose ships too. So here is the barrel roll um, to the left for Joel. Most likely put and in Advanced sensors again. Yep. So no linked actions, no post maneuver. Uh, he's going to have to be very sure of where he's going. So three bank here is going to avoid all the arcs, it looks like. Uh, no, I think he's in... Uh, Red uh, two. Red two and red one, maybe? Well, I don't think these. this is red three. Okay, yeah. Red two, I think he's yeah. going to be in arc. So he's going to be taking a couple shots without any modifications. It's just going to be straight dice on dice. Uh, those Z95s have focuses. We're not sure if they have the locks, though. Um, There's the two bank you called Fen. immediately when he stressed. Yep. <laughs> there, was, there was no other choice. Um... Fen is going to be range one of blue three. At 100. Oh, just the focus. I would assume, because he's in a crack shot here, right? I would assume a barrel roll here into a linked action still gets you the range one out of the crack shot. Uh, the re but maybe I he's just hoping to murder and murk that Tala just immediately, just wipe it off the board. By stressing yourself in this situation, we'll talk about it in a second. Sure. We'll wait, we'll wait to we got dice. between. So here's three hits uh, onto blue three. Now we got a naked Fen Rao, so we got no... No predator, no rerolls, no crack shot, no juke, no, no, no nothing. Uh, it's important to note the the, the camera is going to be a little shaky. They had us put the tripod on the, uh, the table. He does end up uh, spending the focus there. I don't like that, Dion. So that's going to be three into blue three. Uh, you know what though? Um, that means blue three is still alive. He is. He is still alive for sure. But Every he, everything else in his list. Oh, well, he's got Gurry. He's got Gurry. Gurry can finish her off. All right. But we need a... Uh, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. All whammies. All whammies. <laughs> uh, that's not great. That's not what he needed right there. Yes. So, yeah, I think the idea was to try to get one off the board. Uh, and uh, now we have a crack shot live into Fenral. Fenral's going to get his... Uh, Barrel roll of stress is better than being dead. This is true. I think the idea there, uh, the range one spends a focus for two. Hit crit. So this essentially... Oh, is that a... That's a hit. That's a hit. Yep. So and he's fine. Yeah, we got Conquer, a crack shot. Don't Conquer, worry about it. Conquer Don uh, yeah. ends up changing one of those to an evade. Uh, right, just a uh, roll over average. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, it's important to note the difference now in that Fen Rao... Um, Fang Fighter ability, right? It's that it changes one die to an evade, not add an evade result, right? So, um, for Fen Rao, he could never have more than five evades. In that, <laughs> right? I know it sounds ridiculous, right? He so could range, never have five. Range three, so he's got three base. Range three plus an obstruction is five, right? I guess no, he could never have more than four. Excuse me, I said right. five. Five was before. We well, can put stealth device on him. True. If you have still stealth device. I mean, he can take two. No, they can't take modifications. I like Dion. Yeah. There's no lie. Li li I'm sorry. I apologize. All righty. So Joel uh, checking for Blair. The arc there. They might get a judge call, and we do. We have the Brent Wong helping us out. All the way from Texas, drove in. Mm -hmm. Did it all by himself. Did 15 hours in one day. <sighs> Stayed with a friend. Came the did the balance the next day. That's, uh, that's about what we did in from uh, from Canada. We came in from Toronto, Ontario. And again, I'm Devin Monkhouse with the PTL, o PTL, and please come to the PTL Open happening in a couple of weeks in October. And uh, we drove 16 and a half hours across the yep. Midwest. We hit five states. We drove past Dion's house in Chicago. We yeah, waved. We waved. We waved. And uh, we, uh, we went south of the city and then up, uh, turned uh, north at Joliet. Yep. Uh, makes sense. Mm -hmm. You're nodding. You're like, yes, yep. these are places in yeah, Grand Chicago. I, 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 know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know where you've been. I've been there. Now, uh, we uh, learned that in Chicago, you, pre you prefer to be taxed by the uh, off-ramp instead of, uh, <laughs> of by your income. Correct. 
All right. All right. So uh, now what did, we're just checking, checking range to Guri. Did he, did he use a... Uh, range one to uh, Guri. All right. That so was a big, thick... It looked like a, uh, a two hit, forward. Hit crit. Oh, he just takes one. So now he can spend the focus. Spends it. No damage. Uh, right. Guri has a focus from her Guri ability. Mm, yep. Duh. Right. That's fine. I know what chips do. All, all new stuff. Don't worry. Don't no worries. We're both Gary's the same. Plenty. Yeah, she's the same. She <laughs> I'm disappointed is. in myself. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Will it? I'm excited for this quad jumper. If it was Uncar Plut, it would be amazing. Yeah. But it's not. <laughs> all right. Here's Ooh, Joel. Oh, oh. Range one. No damage there. One. It looks like he took one. And that was on a Guri, right? Uh, does Gary have two shields normally? Then yes. Uh, it came off of Gurry. Yeah. Yep. All right, so blank crit. Safe. Yeah. We've got uh, some Quebec folks in the chat. And now here is uh, range three Shout from uh, red three. All right. Hit crit. Hit crit. I think this is into L337. That's going to be one, one shield, shield yeah. off of L337. Just confirm that. Uh, both shields, excuse me. Yeah. Now, is he flipping them? He yes. Is. He's flipping them. Okay. That's why. Hence, hence the confusion. We're still on that 1.0 moveset yeah, where you just so, like, so you many just, things. just take it off the board. Just yep. get, it, uh, get it off my uh, off my cards. All right. Okay. What's going on? He's shooting. Just checking some things. L337 chance now. Now, uh, blue two is is hurting. Mm -hmm. Right? It's without shields. And uh, he's at reduced agility. So why? Well, he also got. Uh, and blue three uh, is down three. to one hull, right? Yep. But has two agility. Three agility. So shoot at the guy with one agility. Let's see what happens. Looks like he's shooting at uh, blue two. Range two. Still, still making his decision. All yeah. Right, so he's yeah. pointing point at blue right two. Decision. That is, that is the right call. That's the right call. So yeah. here's the shot. Two dice. Uh, spends a calculate for one. And we'll see what the response is. And gets the one evade with the white dice. White dice a little bit hard to see in the tray, guys. Yeah. Um, you can draw on them when they roll. Them. <laughs> All Ooh. right. Range two. Range. Uh, might be one. Let's see. How many dice does he roll? Two. Range two. One, one crit. crit. And Got it. natties. Great. Got it. And it was obstructed, which is why he had that extra dice there. Mm, Talos have two of eights, don't they? They do. He rolled three. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I just missed the third one somewhere. <laughs> no worries. No worries. He's sitting off in a corner under some <laughs> text or something. All righty, guys. <laughs> um, so I want to say thank you again for everybody helping us out today and yeah it looks like definitely Blair did use a couple of crack shots there um, I want to see if we can see off of which ones pretty sure he did crack shot for oops right. so this crack shot's live this crack shot's live this crack shot's live this one's been spent I think that's the blue one when he was uh, when he took the, the yeah. shot here that one? Yep. Yes, because L33 has lost all her shields. Yep. So that crack. Sorry. I'm You're good. You're good. I was trying to clear my uh, my scribbles. <laughs> okay. So we got that one crack shot gone there. Yeah, and I think this one's still here. Yep. Under the Blue Squadron Scout. Woo. All right, guys, so uh, we're waiting for our next round of engagement. Let's talk about some possibilities in where these ships can go. And I wanted to, I wanted to talk about Fen Rao because we talked about why didn't he stress himself. In this situation, Blair can make a super killer kill box if oh. he had stressed mm -hmm. himself. Right? If he had stressed himself, he has the possibility of taking um, one, two, three... K turn here, mm -hmm. four ships, and getting Fenrau in this bubble of death. K turn here, yeah, sure. K turn here. I mean, you just you just end up just you you could you would lose Fenrau this turn by not being stressed. 
<laughs> dead, right? Dead. By not being stressed this turn, it's limiting mm. um, where Blair might think he could be. And uh, I think it was actually, I know that it was risky, but it was. Yeah. A, I think it was the correct move by Joel not stressing himself. And, I mean, Blair easily could have lost blue three, yeah. blue two. Mm-hmm. Um, in in. Like if we have a little bit of extra dice variance here, yep. You know, a little fewer, fewer evades rolled. Uh, blue two taking damage over the rock. It's a very, all of a sudden, Blair's down chips, uh, and he's got one more turn where he can sort of leverage his numbers before they're really going to start to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like uh, the poll ended up fifty-fifty, guys. So we'll see how this works out. Good game. Yeah. Close game. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. It's definitely close. Um. Let's talk about Leia, right? Leia, the free card that Blair gets to have in his squad. This um, this might be the this turn. This might for be it. the turn. Yep. Uh, just a reminder: you have three charges on that. You have to spend all three to uh, trigger it, and it, you get one back a turn. So he can rotate this guy ninety degrees. Get an action. Uh, that that that's not a ninety or a degree symbol. So I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just so so he can do a little stop there. Ooh. Right. This guy can K. This guy can K, and I don't know. This guy will K, and now you're getting four stress gone. Right. Okay, I, I, I got it. I got. It. I got the yeah. clear. Yeah. So, for sure, like that's gonna be a fantastic. This is gonna be a fantastic, fantastic turn to use. Mm -hmm. I think this is, this is it. And here's the thing for Joel, right? Um, let's talk about these different pieces mm -hmm. that each of the squads got to bring. Uh, Boba Fett eff effectively did nothing for for Joel. Nothing extra. In this list for him. Not this game. Not, not this game. Right. This is the game that matters, right? That Joel doesn't care about what's going on anything anywhere else. This is the game that right. matters right now. So Boba Fett, in this game, has done nothing. Yeah. We'll see if Blair can use his free Leia, his free mm -hmm. eight points in his squad, uh, to make, uh, make some magic happen. Now, I know one of our players that came up down with us from Canada did uh, uh, a bunch of the driving, Timbo Slice. Mm -hmm. um, he'll put, he's brought uh, a similar list to Joel's, and he brought uh, Unkar Plutt mm -hmm. in the quad jumper. And he'll put him out here with Boba Fett, and then he'll just like, boop, boop. He'll back up, go backwards, and then uh, head back towards his guys. And be like, oh, you thought I was uh, going to come at you? <laughs> but then you've got the quad jumper sort of floating over here doing silly maneuvers. Right, the engagement happens, then all of a sudden it's over here, coming in on the side, messing you up. Now, I mean, Boba didn't do anything this game, but maybe he will next game. Maybe next game. So um, he does also get to place that quad jumper last. So correct. what would be at pilot skill one is actually pilot skill seven. Right, or initiative. 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 I'm sorry, That's I, right. I got bad habits. Get out of here, Devin. I got bad habits. I'm sorry. All right, let me go ahead and. Interesting maneuver here from the quad jumper coming in in front of Guri. Gonna get ready to move these markers here in a minute. I'll uh, I'll put my pen down. <laughs> and uh, there you go. So uh, yeah. tractor beaming. Yeah. Oh, onto the rock. Great move there. Number two, red, uh, undamaged. Now he's putting him as far back as possible, it looks like. Just trying to get him in the way. No, it doesn't mean that means he will not be crossing the rock twice, which would be the dream. Yes. Um, always. But uh, there we are. Tractor beamed and it was only one tractor beam token because mm -hmm. it was not in the bullseye arc. If it's yep. the bullseye arc you can get it is a oh, hit and so red two takes a damage there. Kablamo. Blair removing his shields like a one point master he is. <laughs> All right, so uh, U wing. I want to see where the U wing's going. I'm I'm super stoked. He is not turning. Uh, we don't know that. He could be using the front to the no, side. He's, he's, got, he's got a. Oh oh yeah. Oh, you see? Oh he there could we go. Have just been using oh. the front to the side. That works too. It's the first time I've ever seen that done, Dion. I'm so excited. Boom! U wing. Oh. Um, and he's salivating. So this mm. means he did activate Leia. He Juicy. did activate it. Juicy. Because you see he dropped the focus there. So we got a pop three on Leia. Yep. And then uh, we're going to have to remember that she recharges, correct? Yep. So we'll get that in a second. All right. So here is the Tala 3K free focus. All this is white. 
That's right. Just put it wherever so you want, Specifically, Blair. it uh, it says that it reduces the, the the difficulty of the maneuver. Yeah. All maneuvers or just red maneuvers? It reduces the difficulty of red maneuvers. Is it just red? Double check it. All right. Yes, sir. And Leo Organa. Each ship reduces the difficulty of its red maneuvers. Red maneuvers. Sweet. All right, here's blue three going for the uh, the 3K, most likely. There it is. Go ahead and pop these charges. Blue three covering the corner there. So creating a kill box there in the, uh, in the center of the board. Absolutely. And here is uh, Red 2 moving as well. Getting Gurry out of the way. Very excited. So I, I love watching Blair fly. I'm so glad you got him on stream. This is fantastic. And showing an excellent use of Leia and why she can be good. How she can be yeah. good. Well, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic effect. Like, that's undoubtedly... It, it's a fantastic effect. We just know that it's even better because it's free. <laughs> you can't you can't be free. So uh, Blair choosing to spread out his arcs. He's covering Fen Rao from a lot of different angles. I think we got all the Z's moved, so uh, we can uh, we can play with some toys here again. Um, well, I really want to see where uh, Fen's going to go now. Is this a bump? Uh, nope. No. Nope, never mind. Nope. So he has placed himself at range one of blue one uh, with arc fa fa facing blue two, which is injured. Mm -hmm. And uh, there. red red looks like red two and blue one both have crack shots on L337. That yeah. could get her off the board this round. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Now, he does have the option of getting one last coordinate in on Fen Rao. Or focusing, or not focusing, it's L337, calculating, yep. um, you know, stick your head between your knees and pray. <laughs> you know, hope, hope, you, uh, hope you live. This is very interesting. We've got arcs sort of pointed in all directions. If you look at one and three, uh, they're uh, sort of... Covering every part of the board. I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Generally, you need a volume of fire to bring Fen Rao down. But if you can catch him um, at uh, range two, get a shot, something like that in there, then uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, I think we're still making a decision about L3's action. For those complaining about uh, the time Blair was taking with his swarm, you know, maybe you should consider how long sometimes some people take <laughs> to consider their actions on their on their aces or their ace support ships. I mean, it's yeah. a very important uh, decision to be made. Give uh, give the man some time to figure it out and work it out. <laughs> There's the coordinate on Fen that uh, was coming. He's like, L3, you're on your own. Time and we've go. got a barrel roll coming in. Very interesting. You know, why do it last turn when you can do it this turn? And uh, shout out to Rathios, just rolled into the, uh, Stephen Kim, just rolled into the uh, chat. The chat. Thank you yeah. for uh, yet another squad builder. Thank you for Thank you so much. squad builder, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, something fast or, or banky out of Fen might be uh, an interesting thing. But uh, right now, uh, Joel is considering advanced sensors on Guri, I believe. Um, I don't know, Blair bought so many ships. It's uh, it's messing up your uh, your overlays. Yeah, it's it's so so many things, all the things. Uh, advanced sensors to a evade. Now is he at range one of a rock, so it's white? Are we doing any measurements? Uh, looks like the one in front of the quad jumper is range one. Interesting one hard there. So she, Guri will be getting her focus. She will be getting a crack shot from red three. Uh, looks like she's going to be deleting blue one uh, before he even gets a chance to shoot at uh, L337. 
Here we have Fen Rao. Woo, Fen booking Rao, it. Booking Get it. Five forward. Well, I mean, that's what I was telling you, right? If he would have been stressed, he could yeah. not have uh, mm -hmm. could not have done that. So mm -hmm. it's important. He's got he's got he's got to fly. Run. He's, you know, red one is still there. Still got a shot, and he's got a he's got a little he's got a poodle on up the board. Get out of dodge. Duh. Work it out. All right. Make pushing tokens around, making sure everyone's got their uh, correct items. Guri here, mm, taking two shots maybe, three. Gets her focus, four shots. So Guri's gonna get shot by the Blue Squadron, U-Wing, Red three, Blue three, and Blue two. Um, it'll be very interesting to see what's going on now. All of these target locks floating out here in space. Sorry to steal your- uh, It's okay. Are from- those are from some of the C-95s. We're not entirely yeah. sure which ones uh, are which. It's kind of hard to see with the new system uh, which one is which. We'll do our best yeah, to I'm track not a, it. I'm not a fan of the forced the jerseying of your ships. Yeah. I'm probably just going to keep using my old target locks. Thank you very much. All right. So here we go. Um, Joel, first shot here. Three dice. Now, Does he want to spend the focus? He said he was shooting at blue three. He wants to get it off the board. Oh, blue one is not hurt. Oh, yeah. that's why I thought. I, yeah, I, blue one. Blue one is uh, is clean. So he's trying I thought to. Blue one was he's hurt. trying to take a ship off the board. He's got uh, focus evade right now. He's spending it. Hit hit crit. Here's the response from Blair. He could uh, dodge it and does not. So that's gonna be hit crit. Blue three should be off the board if our numbers Dead. are correct. We'll just double check. And yes, it is. Go ahead. All right. No All waiting right. for our next attack. That is one less attack on Guri this round. But she's spending her her uh, her tokens fast and loose. <laughs> so that's how I like my droids. Fast and loose. Fast and loose. That's right. Planking around. So two hits. I'm leaning in. I'm leaning in. I'm getting excited. Evade focus, and it's going to be taking one damage right there. On to L33. So that's that a one, one hole left on L33. That was blue one. Now we got blue two. Range one with a focus from Blair. Uh, for three, for that's three. a dead droid. Yeah. Yeah, just how many cards? All the cards. All right, so that's 24 points on the board there for uh, for Blair. How poorly we knew the L337 <laughs> and how short you got to use your ability between one shot and the next. Well, n now she becomes part of that Z95, right? That's how that's how the movie worked. No, she, it, she becomes part of her own little escape craft and then and blows up. <laughs> nah, you just steal her. You put it in your ship. Oh, she sure. has a navigational system. Why not, why not steal it? <laughs> Range Our, one, crack shot yep, on... Uh, on Daguri. Uh, does have evade, spends three. For she's three. Gonna, she's going to be taking at least one. She has to because of the crack shot. That's that's uh, that's how 2.0 works. She's, oh, she's taking she's, two. She's taking three. She's taking three no matter what. She's taking three here. S you spend the evade till you force him to use the crack shot. That's your only choice. I mean, wait. But well, I think you, you save it for the other shots coming. Do that's you? That's what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. So it's take three. three. Yeah. Because he can spend the evade. He crack shots it away. Whereas he can spend true, that evade. True. Very true. On, on another shot. He can spend it on... Here's the, the U-Wing. On the U-Wing, here comes uh, range two with a focus. Three dice. Spends it for two. He's got a, he's got one of those target locks. Yeah. That's that's going to be most likely a dead Guri. That's that's that's, that's, that's a toasty Guri. It's gone. Poof. Off the board. L337 is dead. Yep. Guri is dead. Um, so we got uh, Quad Jumper and Fen versus the world. Yes, absolutely. Fen's just streaking around. Well, Fen has the attack power to be able to do it. Let's finish up these rest of these attacks here. Dion, that's a lot of chunk that Fen's got to get through. Oh, yes. I'm, but he has five dice. All right, so. I can't even hit, see. Hit focus uh, into the quad jumper, I believe is what it is. And one rolls evade. one evade. So it's going to be taking one damage. In the quad jumper. Into the quad jumper. This is a rough game, rough round for Joel. I expected Blair to lose a couple of ships, and he only lost one. And L3 so is not removed until the end of the round. All ships in 2.0 are not removed until the end of the fire phase. Yep, hit crit uh, coming in from the quaddy. Ooh, well, there's uh, two blue. There it's also you go. Dead. And that's extremely important, Dion. Yep. Ships are not removed until the end of the combat. 
step. Yep. So uh, Blair was prematurely moving his. Were they Howl Runner? Were they Jonas? Right. All that right. stuff stays around. So if you have a bomber mirror swarm with uh, sim two scimitar swarms facing off against each other, and my squad and my scimitars merc Jonas, because I have initiative and I alpha him off the board, then um, yeah, two and three are dead. Yep. So if I alpha Jonas off the board, he sticks around to give rerolls to all of my opponents. Uh, ships until the end of the uh, initiative two step. Yep. So this is Blair at this point has traded two Talas for uh, Gurry and L337. So it's uh, oof. I don't know. That's a pretty good trade. I'm uh, I'm all for that. That's a it's a great conversion of assets and and power into and do a victory, and uh, it's going to be, I think, very difficult for Joel to solo Blair's list with a with a streaking Z, uh, Fen Rao. Yeah, for sure. He's running on the field, and, uh, you know, security <laughs> guard's going to catch him eventually. It's, uh, oof. I don't quite have the keystroke for... What are we missing? For, uh... That uh, memorized the escape craft. Just try them all. Just try <laughs> them all. That's literally what I'm doing <laughs> right now. Brute force it. <laughs> all right, we're uh, we're working through the dials. Uh, we got Leia's going to go to one charge because that regens one per turn. And uh, all right, quad jumpers backing up. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> now, these little Jekku gunrunners, they've said we're getting 10 techs in both the First Order and Resistance Conversion yeah, Kits. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna soup up here they're pretty gonna, soon. Uh, I mean, they're already a good little ship. They're going to be a great little ship. Or maybe we get uh, a little something that plays with the stress. We get a little something that plays with, uh, you know, keeping a focus or uh, an evade around. Oh, interesting. And we have another twist from... Uh, from the U-wing, he spun around. He's done a spun 180 again. Yeah, yeah, because it was. There's no reason to engage anymore. Well, he's got Fen. He's got Fen there. Yeah, pointed this way. Right. I uh, I'm sorry, Dion. <laughs> Did I mess it up? <laughs> You're getting to talking to, Mister. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm excited <laughs> to be here. <laughs> I'm being included. <laughs> All right. This is, this is, you know, very interesting to see where he's going. This is a reposition turn for the swarm. He's going to see if he's going to get, um, you know, shots on Fen aren't very important this round. He's certainly going to try and set up to make sure that he's got shots next turn, the turn after, etc. Yep. Right? So that's going to be very important for us to consider moving into what Fen Rao is doing. And Fen Rao looks like he's going to put put pain into into blue blue squadron scout, but he's got the he's got the chunk to uh, to figure it out. He's got the chunk to to tank a five die hit and uh, and live a little. Yeah, I mean, we have to see um let me go ahead. Sorry, guys. I'm like I'm trying to multitask here. I got some new fancy dancey stuff that I'm trying to do for you guys. That's why hey, I'm a little, little quiet right now. That's all right. I'm I'm chatting about swarms and I'm in awe of Blair Bunky's finesse and uh, the way he he puts his pieces on the board and the way he organizes his arcs and and sets up those kill boxes with with talas with talas. Oof. I mean, they got barrel roll now, but he's. Not used it once, I don't think. No, nope, not yet. Not that, yet. That's the uh, in case of emergency. Mm. Pull, pull this lever. Pull <laughs> 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 a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, and here we have our. our he's going to shoot the Tala. Interesting. Interesting decision here. Uh, I assumed he'd just like blow into the Blue Squadron scout, blow it down, and uh, get half points on it and zoom off. But. Uh, all right, Dion is gleeful. He's figured something out. Oh, perfect. It's beautiful. 
It's beautiful, Dion. Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. Got him. Something, Perfect. Something sexy come, coming your guys' way here in a little bit. So. Woo. All right. Dice going down. All right. Here. So, uh, Joel's first shot here. Five dice. It's two Not. hits, two focuses, and a blank waiting for um, his choice here. Does he want to spend? Nope. So just two. Uh, gets one. It's so going to be one shield onto the U-Wing. Nope. Looks like uh, red two. Into, was it red two? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Into red two. One, two. I think he was trying to get him off the board, but uh, I don't think he was confident in you know punching up the, the U-Wing. Mm -hmm. Well, the U-Wing had no... Uh, all Oof. right, range one back. Oh. Two two hits. Um, that's average right there. Two on two dice, and Fen Concordance and yeah, it's absolutely fine. Range one. All right, range one back. I uh, know the Tala didn't take any damage because he spent his focus token. Got it. Got it. So red two, yeah. Uh, he's taking one from somewhere. Oof. Red three. Reaching for Fenrau. I mean, range three is the place to shoot Fenrau now. Yeah. I mean, range two is better, right? But yeah. Yeah. Two. Hey. Into. He's got one. Does he have focus? He sure does. No yeah, damage. Yeah, he's got to spend it. So Joel's going to have to play fast uh, fast and aggressive here. Let me go ahead and. Well, he's got ten minutes left. I don't think he can. I don't think he can push enough rounds into 10 minutes to get through enough of the chunk in this list mm -hmm. to uh, to really work it out, right? Like, uh, he's earned 50 points off Blair right now, mm -hmm. and uh, Blair's got about 100 off of him. So he's got to get three Talas off the board. So that's at least three rounds in combat where Blair Bunky is now being able to bully him around with his uh, crack shot arcs. Yep. And All negate right. that uh, if he has a poor roll, he can negate the uh, the here's, Concord Dawn. Here's a quad jumper. Oh. Range one blanks out. Not what Joel needed right here. You know, he was trying to get both of his ships shooting at uh, red three, try and take it off the board, but was right. not to be. Was not to be. All right, folks. guys, I'm gonna put the points up there. Now I want to want you to remember that the, the one thing that's not going in. The calculations here is the fact that Leia is free and the and the, and the uh, Boba, Fett. Boba Fett is free. So those numbers are a little bit skewed, uh, but you get an idea of where things kind of are. We'll we'll get an exact score at the end. We'll do we'll do the math for you guys. Uh, we'll get that done. So, um, you know, with this first round through, it's interesting to see. How Leia got used, I would say, you know, of the free cards, that that's the one that did the most work for this round. Um, Blair leveraged Leia like a boss. He he had the perfect turn for it, mm -hmm. absolutely perfect turn. He would have uh, two charges back on that by now. So let's go ahead. Yep. And I drew a little one on there, but we deleted it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you so. were you were busy getting the overlay fixed up. It was all right. I mean, uh, we're gonna get a tractor beam, but. Are we? I, mean, no, I don't think maybe so. Maybe not, Devin. It's not going to fit. Uh, you can do a green, but I don't think it'll be pointed in the right direction. Yep. Um, points wise, uh, for your own math at home, Leia is eight points and Boba Fett is four. So when those ships take damage, essentially you're going to minus four uh, or minus yeah. eight. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to, like, I have loved the, the Blue Squadron Scout play here where he was able to stop with a white. Yep. Do a 90 degree turn, stop with a red, do a 90 degree turn. Now he's backwards pointing at Fenrau. Yep. That's just great. And he's he's in a good spot where uh, he can be in the way for Fen. He kind of forced Fen to go fast. Mm hmm. He, exactly. He has, exactly. He has to go fast. So um, you, you know that Fenrau is most likely going to end up somewhere in this area. You do have two Z95s there. You could even bring this one, crash it around. Mm -hmm. um, Slow roll with one, do like a one bank or something. That's right. And, you know, where the points sit right now, with only seven minutes left, we maybe get one other turn after this one. Yeah. Right? At this point in the game, I'm, I estimate them to be about five minutes long. Does that match your data? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, uh, if I'm Joel, you need to try to save MOV and see maybe where you can just kind of grab grab a little bit here and there, right? So, um, in so, his, what's, so his, what's weak? His... I mean, Nothing's hurt. Number Only two, two. Number two has one shield down. 
Um, and can you get two rounds of shots on it? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But we're gonna have to see what uh, what Joel chooses to do here. All right, let's see so what. There's the uh, green move from the quad jumper. What these are. But that's putting the quad jumper in Fen's kill box. Right. So if he'd done, if he'd gone the other way, it's preserving MOV. Maybe he's looking to do a block here, but I'm not. Yeah, well, I'm not the, enthused. The, qu the quad jumper also hasn't been taken to half points yet, so you mean you're saving possibly points on uh, on the but quaddy. I mean, like if the quad goes, if the quad had gone, sort of this way on, on the board, right? Then one comes in and it's not going to have a shot on him, mm -hmm. right? Whereas now, well, if one goes slow and doesn't have a shot on Fen. He's going to have a shot on the quad right. jumper. Well, we have to see what we'll see what the, what Fen does. That might inform us why he uh, he chose to do that. Sure, we got a little bumpy bump here. Clears the stress. Uh, just sit still. Four uh, K here. Uh, do they they have a four now? They do. Yeah. Okay, so they yeah. got that extra extension yeah. there. They have yeah. three and the four K. Now he's got to chase Fen. Because if he lets Fen do whatever he wants, if he lets Fen be aggressive, he's going to kill stuff. Right. So he's got to keep arcs and bullseye arcs on Fen to keep him running while he finishes off the gunrunner. Yep. Right. So the gunrunner is important. He's got to get it. He's going to. He's going to get it down. And uh, but you have to keep your aggression on the ace, and then take shots where you can on the quad jumper, because that ace, if you just let it sort of do what it wants. Uh, that's going to be pretty pretty rough. Okay, so a bump with red number two, and blue one does a one forward there. Yeah, and so now we're going to see the quad jumper here is going to have at least two shots on it, three shots on it, and on all of those shots that both Joel's put has put both of his we'll potentially see. both of his. his Let's see where uh, where Fen box. goes. So right into the kill box. Fen, Fen is in the box. And he's got to roll like a champ, like a real champ. Well, I think guys, just proxy, just proxy the Ewing, guys, guys, guys. All right, just put it wherever you want. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So okay, well, let's see. We got, we got this guy. We got yep. this guy. Mm -hmm. We got this guy. And we got this guy. Yep. So I mean, that's uh, four shots in. Honest, that's that's a, that's that's a kill box. Well, I think you uh, you take your points, and uh, you go into the quad jumper. You don't shoot Fen. No. Because uh, you have to do two damage in the Fen. He's gonna have uh, Concordan because mm -hmm. now he doesn't have to be. You don't. Fen doesn't have to have you in arc. Now he's got two range, two shots, right? So he can start with one into the quad jumper, right? Because one's not gonna want to shoot Fen. Well, actually, Let's see what happens. I think for the see what happens, you start with number two. Oh, because he's only got one shot. Yeah, he's Fair only enough. got one. Yeah. So uh, we'll see that first shot here. This is going to be range one from Fen Round with a focus into uh, red two. Red two. Waiting for the dice. And we have Ooh, four hits. A lot of paint. No whammies. Four well, hits. Whammy. Oh, and, and one, one evade. So number but, two. But uh, it's going to be off the board. Is toasty. Well. He's not starting with number two, Dion. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he he can't. He has no choice. He cannot. That's what Fenrau do. He just uh, deletes ships. Yep. Uh, so number one is shooting range two at the quad jumper for crit blank, and that looks like that's a crit. What do we got? Oh, thanks, thanks, Joel. He put the face down damage cards in the box, but not <laughs> the crit card. A console fire, guys. Console fire. Okay, now. Cool. So that that's onto the uh, the quad jumper, and, and it's going to trigger now. It's going to trigger right away, right away when the quad jumper, if it lives, yeah. activates. So uh, just rolling natties there, blue one, putting work in, looking to get vengeance for blue two and blue three. That's going to be it for the quad boom, jumper. Boom, 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 quad jumper, quad jumper's gone. One shot left, range two, long bomb from three. Let's see what he can do. No mods, one crit, come on, Fen. Got the one he's, he's all right. Oh, crack! Do we have crack shot? Uh, he might. This would, that would give him uh, get him one step closer do to we, half. Yeah, we've got crack shot. Panic, panic pilot. That's that is not what Fenrir wants to see. He's now triple stress deal. No, yeah, triple triple stress, and um, you know he. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> that's that's. Oh boy. That's a bad one. I love seeing my Fen triple stressed. <laughs> Never. I love it. <laughs> I do not appreciate Fen Rao, and I uh, 
I'm, I'm a little gleeful. I mean, I don't want to pick sides. Uh, I'm not rooting for anybody. I don't know right. what you're talking about. But So uh, um, looking at uh, some of Joel's options here, honestly, um, what, with, uh, with uh, one turn. Hard to. With hard to. No. No. No? No. no? You okay. have two minutes left. You're not going to get another round. You five forward. <laughs> you hope. Seriously. You okay, five, okay, okay. You five forward. You get out. Okay. And 50-50, you don't you, give them half on Fen. Correct. Because mm. if you just if you just hard two here, these Z95s are just going to get – they're just going to go eat the booty. You go he's, five straight. He's going to rotate this boy 90 degrees again to get that shot. Yeah. So uh, Fen, Fen has to go five straight. Like there's no other sh- – there's no other Yolo? choice. Yep, you have to. Carpe diem. That is his best, his best chance. <sighs> you can see the intensity in his face right there. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking <laughs> he's real hard. He's thinking about it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a tough decision when you have to kind of I mean, these the crits in this deck are so damning. Oh, they're brutal, right? They're brutal. Like they they made them worse, but at the same time they're like, all right, the ones that you can't. Leia flip is, is at three. Yeah, he's at three. And Go. then I drew a three on. So yep. So Blair can cater on all his boys. With to focus. hunt that yep. with a focus and the 90 degree turn on the Ewing the last turn of the game who cares if you're pointed at a rock mm-hmm. that's white too yep so uh, points wise remember uh, scores uh, although Blair, I think Blair may have just like straight forgotten about Leia but uh, who he, cares he may, he may have. oh we were off by 10 seconds only that's fantastic yeah, not bad not bad yeah Dion oh there's the K turn is he going to pop, pop a stress did he pop Leia again? Let's, Did he not forget? Let's see. If he puts a focus down, we'll know what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Got Leia off twice. Beauty. Bump here. Maybe we're hidden behind one of the Zs. Well, that's a bump. Or maybe not. I can't really see anything. <laughs> Are we still doing phrasing? Are we still doing phrasing? Phrasing? What do you mean phrasing? Sorry. That went over Dion's head. Yep. All lost right. it. <laughs> All right. And the... Is it going to be in 90 degrees? I really... Yeah, I, I mean, that, I, that's, I that's, that's the best move. I want to see it again. Uh, I want to see the helicopter. Oh. There ah. it is. Ah. Ah. He did the 180. So that is time in the round. We'll uh, We'll wait for the conclusion here. All right. Is it a five forward? It is a hard one. Bye, Fen. I mean, it's if I'd be very surprised if uh, if Fen Fen doesn't uh, take at least half here. Hard one. No, but Fen likes being at range one. He gets the Concordia Dawn face off. I'm sure he he's gets gonna the extra get dice. so he's gonna get three shots on him. He might but he, he wing was, a pilot here. He, remember I talked about the five straight? You did. He would be right here. I know where and he would taken be. And have taken no damage. Yeah, well, he got 50-50. sure. I think he's only got like a 25-30% chance of taking any damage here. And that's probably from the U-wing. All right. Four hits into the Z. That's uh, red three. You got it. You got to spend a Blair. That's into number three. No, three or number one? No, the one way down here on the bottom. And he took... Yeah, he spent the focus, and uh, looks like he shot. We didn't move them around since the end of the game. I would say that that was red one. Red one just is on one hull, and is not. And Fen is not taking damage from these shots. Cause that's what Fen do at range one. Oh, there we go. Three hits coming in. Um, takes two. No. Yeah, no, takes or one. Takes one, sorry. There's Concordia, takes one, half points. He's got the half, yep. This is the uh, the U-Wing. No, different, uh, another Z. They're not, they've stopped pointing at chips. I'm, yeah, I'm not really fine. sure. It's fine, they're just trying, trying to, they're just trying to wrap it up. Yeah. And U-Wing rolls all natties. And that's a, is that a dead Fen Rao? Did we, did he do it? Did he get it? They shake. Uh, yeah, he got it. No, no, he took one more, right? It's his third, so it's going to end with one. Uh, oh. He has three. 
He has Did three. he just add the? Th yeah. Uh, le 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 let's uh, just, just straight ask. Joel, did you take the last damage on Fen there? No, is it is it one right? Okay, Fen's yeah. on one hole. Yeah. Okay. See, I was I was right. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to say thank you so much to Joel and Blair for playing for us. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Um, we're having a great time here at we're, Coruscant. We're having a fantastic time. I want to remind you guys that um, points wise, up in that corner. That's not the actual score. It's close to that. Right. Um, on Joel's, on Blair's side, he is minus four. Four. Yeah. So that is actually. So Joel's are correct. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't work up there. Joel's are correct, and then uh, Blair is at one hundred fifty-eight. Yeah. One hundred and fifty-eight. Okay, so we're gonna update. And this next right round, here. I promise to cool it a bit with the drawing on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, and before we go, I want to say thank you to all of our patrons for helping us out. You guys are fantastic. Um, In the Talos, we've got uh, one on half and another one dead, right? Yep. No, 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 like on your uh, on your overlay. Yeah, I was about, okay. to, I was about okay. to update that in here in a minute. All right. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I want to say thank you to our, our Twitch, Prime, Twitch Prime subscribers. Thank you to our patrons. I want to remind you guys that we're only a few more patrons away from uh, getting that next goal of 400 patrons. I don't know. I'll check it here in the break to see if we've gotten it. But we're going to take a break here. Uh, Devin, thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll be back here in round two for the continuation of the Coruscant Open.